Hey guys, Spirit here, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a first look at Motorcycle Mechanic Simulator 2021. So huge thank you to the guys from Playway for sending me through a key to check this one out. Let's go straight into start a new game. Um, nickname. Oh, what happened then? That's weird. Anyway, <laughs> Brito will do. Um, sandbox, no, we'll go story mode. Normal, play the game normal mode, enjoy building your garage and making money along the way. Definitely, and um, we will play the tutorial just in case. Um, I have done the demo version of the game, but um, it's been a while since I've played, so... Going through the tutorial won't be a bad thing. It definitely will help you guys out um, if you guys haven't purchased the game yet. But are thinking about it, if I can go through the tutorial, you guys can see how it works and when you play you can skip the tutorial which will be good for you guys. I always um, like to do tutorials though because there's always something that you learn in there that you would, wouldn't otherwise have known or you won't find out so it's a good little bit of help. So hopefully the loading screen is not too bad. I know majority of the, the new release games um, recently have had really long loading times but I guess that's understandable with them being you know released and haven't been optimized as yet so but hoping won't take too long right I might throw throw in a pause here and I'll bring you guys back once it's uh, loaded in just in case it takes a little while Radio loaded in. Okay, so hi. Right, let's start with your. Oh, the mouse it went flying. Let's start with your first quest. Please press tab to open the tablet. Let's see if I can. Drop that down to two and a half. It's a bit better. Ah, tab. Okay. Here is your tablet, which contains many useful applications. Please select the mail app to accept your first quest. Okay, first quests from Maliniac at p2c.com. Hi, first please let me welcome you to our new life as a mechanic. Your new life. During my last ride I got a flat front tire. Please fix it for me. Also please check my oil level. Yeah, we can do that. Nice and easy. Don't know if we need to replace the tire or just, uh, you know, do the old cheapy thing and just pump her up. Whether he got um, a punch or just road flat, I don't know. I'm hoping this music won't give me a copyright strike, but I guess I'll have to wait and see. And um, straight back into some more loading. Right, there we go. Um, press escape or tab to go back. Let me go. Audio. Music's really loud. I don't know if it's just for me. Alright, resume. The left side of the screen shows your current task progress. Let's go to the motorcycle and fix the front tyre. Okay, to start working with your bike, you have to select the, select the first. For our quest, it's best to start with the front wheel. Yep, um, so we need to take the front wheel off. We're going to have to take um, a lot of stuff off by the looks of this. No, clamping on the front. Should allow us to take the axle out. Yeah, there we go. Uh, hold fast front. I don't even, not even really reading if it's telling me to do it in this order or not. All right, now we can take uh, hold fast front left. Now it's telling me to take the brake caliper off. Do we need to take the caliper off? Just noticed, I think our XP is up the top left. We're not getting XP by taking parts off. Sort of similar to what we did on um, Car Mechanic Sim. I'll take uh, pad. Okay, both sides. Let's try and get under. There we go. Interesting how we've got one either side. Right, front wheel. Great. Use the tyre changer, uh, which is just here. 
One of our machines available in the garage, use it, press right mouse. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, dismantle the wheel. We're similar to um, car mechanic sim. Tool chest, workbench, power generator. Cool. Alright, now we can take the wheel. Now, uh, now go to the shop app and buy a new tyre. Okay. Actually, have we got an inventory? We do. Can we click on it? No, can I add it to a list or something? I think we can somehow. L is the list, but I don't know. Maybe it's just a the wrong button. Uh, shop. Um, what bike is it? Urban Night Choppers. Uh, the Hawk. Interesting, we're going to go through each individual model. Uh, can we go across? Yeah, there we go. Wheels. Just tyre front. Is it a classic or is it a modern? Please. Front tyre. Find tyre front and buy it. But is it classic or modern? Oh, God. Classic. That's a little annoying. Um, Urban Knights. Hawk. Classic front. Buy. Alright. Oh, now we've got to put the spin around circles like crazy. Attach, rim, the new tyre. Awesome. Blonk. Take the wheel. Now click back on the front. Okay. Oh, now we need a tyre balancer. Shop interior. Uh, devices. It's pretty cool. Decor and everything. Tyre balancer. 500 bucks. Alright. Where did that go? Um, inventory. Here it is. Place. Ah, awesome. We can actually place it wherever we want. Uh, rotate. Q and E and stuff. Good. Done. Uh, balance the new tyre. Okay, so that's automatic, not like um, car mechanic sim where you've got um, a little mini game. Alright, go back to the motorcycle assembly. Front wheel. Okay, follow the white ghost. Good luck. Okay, let's. Us doing it by ourselves. Don't have to baby us through it this time, which is good. Front brake disc. Do both pads first because knowing me, I'll forget it. Right, there we go. So similar to car mechanic, see me click on it and it zooms in on it. Probably could turn that off. Pretty sure I didn't run that. Um, oop, no, where's our axle? Yeah, in um, car mechanic sim. It's just a little annoying. Um, brake caliper. The clamp. Done. All right, very good. Now we can add some oil to the bike to complete the. The second task in the quest, change your current mode by pressing and choose motorcycle maintenance. Um, find the oil plug, which is where? Right over here. You said to check the oil, not to fill it. Um, yep, okay, so we'll just tip it up. The right hand side, it shows us how full it is. Done. Press escape, and done. Good job, if the motorcycle is fully assembled, you can take it for a test ride. Let's please open the telepressing tab and then select map. Uh, this app, you can select destinations. Please choose the abandoned port. The Hawk. Awesome, I didn't realize we could do this. This is going to be pretty cool riding these bikes around. Disassembly mode blocking parts is shown in red. So obviously if you're trying to take the wheel off, the red part will show up. There's parts you need to take off before you take the wheel off, or you know, whether it be brake pads or the caliper or something, you might have to take something else off first. So, 
definitely um, something that you need. There's a lots of times that you're trying to take a part off and you don't realise there's something else you need to take off first. Right, now to look at, now looking at your free ride playground here, you can test your motorcycle. Just tab here is a map app to return your garage. You got a front brake. Uh, there's a front brake and a rebrake, uh, just a, a rebrake. Uh, change lights, camera. Ooh. Right, interesting. Oh. Certainly rides like a... Oh wow, that camera view is terrible with the mouse. But we're damaging his ride. Brakes work alright, oh, can we launch it? Launch it! Oh, oh we died. Uh, Sorry mate, but bike's a bit broken now. Alright, off we go. Can't even do a wheelie. What's going on? 100 kilometers an hour. Alright, let's go back to our workshop. Interesting. I didn't realize it would actually throw us off the bike hitting the jump, but yeah, we launched her. Launched her through the air. Uh, luckily, Hopefully it won't cause any damage and, and we'll be good. The owner will no no different. Should be great. Alright, so just some more loading time. Hopefully it's um not gonna take too long. So that looks like, um, see that screenshot there looks like a, a yard that maybe we can, can maybe purchase later on, and remove all the junk and turn it into our own workshop, which would be pretty cool. Yeah, still the load times, I really think they have to work on the load times just to optimise things a little better. It's um, quite lengthy. The load's there, and now it's got to load again. Yeah, as I said, it's quite quite lengthy, quite annoying. They definitely need to work on that. Objective, the quest, and most log is fully assembled. You can now finish the quest. Let's go to the mail app, and go finish. For 450 bucks, and 30 bonus XP. I've got skill points and something else that popped up there. Congratulations, congratulations. you have now finished your first quest. You have earned some money and experience. Points. By the way, it looks like you've got some spare skill points. Let's go to this tablet by pressing tab. By progression. In this app, you can buy skills that will help you become an awesome mechanic. You can also track your progress in your passive skills. Let's buy an available skill by holding left mouse. Okay, oh, so this is... Aha! That's pretty cool. So, we don't have to unlock this anymore. You just do enough of it and it'll go up by itself, which is really cool. Okay, multimeter, the only thing we can unlock. There we go, you've completed the tutorial. You'll now give you extra cash for shopping. You can also start a new quest to earn more, even more cash and experience points. Good luck and have fun. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Right, so I don't know. Let's uh, look at the map. We can't move that around. Big garage, Anglo Drive, which is where we are. The barn garage, testing track, the auctions, and the junkyard. All right, interesting. So let's look at our mail. Wow, there's a heap of jobs. Um, looks like a lot of work to do as well, but these are just normal jobs. It's pretty cool. We can keep going with the main quest. Let's do the main quest. Yeah, how long has it been since I've been to a normal mechanic for inspection? Long enough that probably all the filters and brake pads need replacing. I'll tell you that much. By the way, check all the fluids in the vehicle too. Okay. 
So it's, it's good that we can do quests and also side jobs as well, so... Oh, okay. Oh, wow. This is what really annoyed me, the prologue, that still hasn't fixed. You go to look and it lags out and you end up looking completely backwards. Ah, very annoying. Remove, replace, cancel. Okay, so we can... Place... Oh, no, so we can replace it. It's doing it again. That is so annoying. Ah... I mean, my computer's pretty bloody good, so I don't know what's wrong with them. Can we go? Anything about the current job? Ah, bank. Recycle management. Reversion. Oh, so we can park things, okay. Right, so we need to take um, the front brake pads off. Replace those. Let me, yeah, brake caliper front. I don't think we need to take the axle out then. Did we? Probably not. Got front right. Front left. Let's put the axle back in. Just making sure it was good for you, mate. All good. Brake pad. Front left, front right. Caliper front and disc front. So, ah, oh, there we go. We do need to take that out. <laughs> Should have known that. Um, hold fast, and then the brake disc front. Okay, can I get out of that? Get inventory. Can I actually? on that. I don't know if that's been added to my list or not. Can, how do we get out of there? See, why can't we press escape to get out of there? I want to get out of my bloody inventory and it's stuck in there. Oh my god. It's going to be really annoying. At least we can see what we need. Uh, what do we have? Punch bikes. Reversion. We need um, where's our brake pads and that gonna be? It wouldn't be in suspension. Not is it under wheels or accessories? Where the hell? Go brake. Oh, there we go. Brake caliper front. Bye. Left. Right. Disc front. Um. Yep, that'll do. Now I cannot get out of my inventory. Oh my god. Save, exit the main menu. Alright, I'll bring you guys back when we come back in, but actually it might be too long load time. Let's continue and see if that's gone. That is annoying. Now, this game is going to be awesome. I know that, you guys know that, but little things like that should not be happening, little bugs like that, upon, you know, full release of a game. In the demo mode, prologue, Yes, can expect little things like that, but for a full release, it should not be having issues with going in and out of your bloody inventory. Like, it's... It's going to be annoying that you have to come in and out, in and out, save the game, go out, come back in again because of a bloody issue like that. Very, very frustrating. But then, of course, we're stuck with the 10-hour loading time. Now, I don't want to put too much negativity on on the game but you know just trying to be honest honest review with all games is sort of what I like to do but little issues like that are just become frustrating and they make people not want to play the game I guess take the fun factor away the longevity of a game but I do I mean that these these bikes do look awesome though like they've done really good with the graphics 
Not so much the loading time, but no, graphics are awesome. And knowing me, if I go to put in a cut here, in five seconds time it will load in like it did last time, so... Alright, I'll throw in a cut. Can't let you guys wait here for the next ten minutes. Oh, no, there you go, never mind. See, as I said, minute to get you go to throw in a cut and it's all good. Alright, um... Is there... can we change... No, we can't change buttons. I wasn't sure if there's a way I could remove the HUD. Uh, for screenshots. Put it, the new one in. Hold fast is still good. Hold front axle is still good. I don't understand why we need to do the left pad before the right pad. And why that some new parts are on the left, some new parts are on the right. It's another weird thing. Um, I think that's it for the front end. Alright, let's um quick screenshot. I don't know if I can go into uh, camera mode, we can't. Okay, so on the back here, our light rear, I'm gonna add that to our shopping list. Um, where are we? Hand grip. So if we're looking for the th throttle, maybe, are they talking about the throttle cable? Uh, fuel valve. Let's go around this side. I know throttle left, as in that, that, and then the air filter, the fuel valve. Let me... Have a look. Uh, gameplay. Auto assembly switch. I think that's what it might be. Photo mode, camera movement. So there is a photo mood. Photo camera speed. Drop that down to one. That down to one as well seems to be too quick. Right, how do we get to photo mode? I don't know. Alright, um, fuel valve, why can I not take that off? I don't have to, there's something there underneath it? No, I don't know. Will not allow me to remove that for some strange reason. I don't. I can't take the tank off without removing that. So that's weird. All right, air filter. I have to remove that. I'm gonna take these off. Can't see. I can't take that off without taking that off. But I can't take the fuel valve off. There's nothing that goes red. Oh my god. Ah, okay. Two. There we go. Increase that speed a little bit. Oh, there goes our lag again. Really, really frustrating. As I said, um, things like this should, should not be happening. What is the point? New quest was added. I'm struggling enough with this quest without having to do another one. I figured I might have been able to take um, that off to get to that, but I can't take the fuel valve off. There's nothing. Uh, uh, maintenance. Can I maybe remove the fuel or something? Uh, now what have I done? So now I can't even click on the bloody bike. O M F G. Okay, tank. God. 
Um, Zam. Okay. I don't want to fill that up. I want to, you know, maybe take the tank off. Ah, disassembly. We cannot finish this mission without taking that off. So that is really going to be annoying. Uh, shop. So we can't click on those either. We just got to do it this way. Reversion. We click on it there. Oh, there we go. Light rear. Got all left. Well, that's a good thing. Can't complain about that. I wish we could just click on this and it would go by straight away. Um, we still cannot get the fuel valve off. Like, how are we meant to do this? Um, I'm sort of just going to have a quick look. Yeah, let me have a quick look. Um, in the discussions on Steam, and I'll see if I can find out and find a, a fix for this issue. Alrighty, guys, I cannot find anything, so. Not sure what I'm doing wrong here, if there's anything at all. Um, oh, here we go. Take the plug off first. Now, can we take that off? See, that is frigging frustrating. I don't want to swear, but that is fucking frustrating. Like, seriously, devs, click on that and you go disassemble. Why can you not have something that says remove fuel first? It's it makes perfect sense to me. Or am I just stupid? I don't know. Motorcycle maintenance. Let me fill. Maybe I've got to put the cap back on. Yeah. You need to come up with something that says remove fuel first. Like common sense. I thought initially that I'd have to remove fuel first, but there was no option to remove fuel. I didn't think by removing the cap, I would have the option to remove remove um, other stuff as well. Now, maybe that's my own stupidity, but, you know, would not hurt to have something pop up to say, you know, remove fuel first. Maybe, maybe I'm just, yeah, too simple. I don't know, but still uh, a little, a little annoying. Okay, put all these new parts on. I don't know, honestly, I don't know how many other people have had that issue. Maybe it was just me. I'm hoping it's not me, because then I'll look bloody stupid, but... As I said, simple little thing. Simple, simple, simple. Um, ah, cancel. Can I click on this? Oh, damn. Ah, this is frustrating. There's nothing in here that says uh, anything about camera mode. Do we have a camera laying around? We have a tool chest, paint, and lots of other stuff. A dry vacuum. Uh, so there's nothing that we can use to take the photo, so nothing in here that I can see either. Um, okay, alright, mail, I finished the job, plus 40 XP, and 600 bucks, awesome, 15,000, 300 bucks, I don't know what I really want to do in here, like, this stuff just looks completely messy and dirty, like this, move it, this, uh, replace it, so, 
Fair enough, we need a, a tool chest or whatever, but... Well, they straight it up for us, would ya? Uh, same as this. Like, we'll, we'll maybe move you into a half-decent spot. That. Uh, empty trolley can stay, that can stay. Yeah, it lo looks a little bit better, I suppose. But, um, yeah, radio guys. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this one. Um, a little bit of work, I think. A couple of little minor things that are a little bit um, annoying, I guess. Um, as I said, maybe that was just me, that last little thing, making sure we had to remove the fuel first. Um, I don't know, but I'm hoping, as I said, I'm not the only person that had that same sort of issue. Um, otherwise, as I said, I look pretty stupid. Um, go. What's up? Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the game so far. Um, if you'd like to see some more, let me know. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.